it wasn't crazy. Maybe, maybe it disappeared. Yeah, I don't know. All right, it's 9 o'clock. Let's call this meeting to order with a moment of silence. Thank you. I'll first order is to approve the agenda. What's to approve the agenda? Support. Motion made and second to approve the agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Approve minutes of July 5. Move to approve minutes. Second. Motion made and second to approve minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, number three, we have fourth quarter and semi annual annual reports. From the treasurer and the recorder. Move to accept reports. Second. Motion main second to approve the reports. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Dave is not here. Um, Deanne isn't going to be here. She's getting ready for the fair. So uh, she didn't have necessarily anything, I guess. We have two payroll changes, uh, one for the sheriff to uh, add Brandy Heining to the payroll effective July 18 at a starting salary of $32,000. I make a motion that we approve the recommendation of the sheriff for payroll support. Motion made and seconded to approve the starting salary for Brandy, Brandy and hire Brandy Heining for $32,000. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We got a couple from the treasurer, a couple things you want to. You want to come up, son? That's fine. First one, I just made one copy because I emailed it all to you. Would be to fill the position that is currently vacant in driver's license for that employee to start August 8th with a 60% deputy salary. For Emily Skoltis? Yes. Okay. I'll make the motion that we hire Emily Skoltis for the uh, driver's license clerk. Um, uh, 60 percent on 8 8 of 16. She would be a deputy, not a clerk. I'm sorry, deputy. Support? Motion made. Seconded to hire Emily Skoldis at 60 uh, percent treasurer salary starting August 8. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. You have another request? I do. Susie Richards is currently there. She's at 65, and I'd like to move her to 70 percent deputy treasurer. She is taking over the duties that the former 70% employee did starting August 8th. Okay. I'll make the motion that we um, move Susie Richards from 65% to 70%. Support. Motion made and supported to raise Susie Richards from 65 to 75% to 70% of the uh, treasurer's salary. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. You're welcome. We have this uh, note from John Jacobs that uh, uh, requesting commission members. They had uh, Joanne Lenoy passed away, and I don't know if there's another new one on here or not. But yes, uh, Pamela Kingery is no longer on. Okay, so the uh, request is we approve the Pioneer. Cemetery Commission for 2016-17 are as follows. John Jacobs of Rose Hill, Joe S. Crookham of Oskaloosa, Joan Van Werdoff of Oskaloosa, Elizabeth Christopher of Oskaloosa, and Ron Grindedike of Oskaloosa. So who's doing whose term here? I mean, Joan well, is on there. She expires at the end of 18. Now, Pam Kingery, did we get a letter of resignation or request? Because her term's not up. Yeah. I don't think we got a letter about that, but I think Joe, Joe did say that she was no longer on. Okay. So we've got... So Joe West Kirkham's new. What term are we going to... And then... So yeah. there's two on there now that we... Joan and John Jacobs. Yep. And well, we, um, I guess I'd let them put them in where they want them. I guess we need them on here. I could call John and ask him or we can sign them. Oh, just to sign them. And okay. Two would expire at the end of this year, and one would expire at the end of 17. So, let's just put Joe and Elizabeth Christopher in the 16 yep. ones, and then yep. Ron in the 17 one, and that then we'll have to do those other two again. Well, you guys have to do those other two. January. Well, actually, we'll probably vote again on that. Yeah. 
beginning later of year. this year. When do we usually approve this? December. December. Okay. Okay. So that's fine. Okay. So I'll make that motion. Second. Do you have that in terms of a motion, Sue? Sorry, just kind of. Well, not exactly. <laughs> okay, so it's a move to appoint uh, Joe S. Kirkham uh, and Elizabeth Christ Christopher to the uh, unexpired or terms that expire December 31st, 16, and then uh, part of that motion is to appoint Ron Grunerdyke to the unexpired term that uh, set to expire in 17 or July or December 31 and 17. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Number eight, consider approval for exception to policy to include TMSA treatment. It was something we had on there last time. I mailed out several documents we met as the insurance committee um, last week. And um, to, the, to the people, um, from the committee didn't show up. We had two of them that showed up that hadn't, didn't fully understand what the meeting was for. They hadn't read through the information, but the, there was a motion uh, in the, the uh, language I think that I could get, and uh, it did not receive a second. So there wasn't a, there wasn't a recommendation. So, but I'd sent this, in, information out to you guys so if you have any questions I'll certainly answer any questions on it but um, I guess what I, what I would propose or ask is that the uh, Board of Supervis Supervisors consider uh, make an exception to policy to cover TMS for this particular case. Well, the emails that I seen from that Ryman, Brad Ryman had sent out that uh, he was kind of said that we should leave it alone the way it is. Well, he, the way I, his 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 specific language in his email that he wrote back to me he said he's neither advocating for or advocating against the policy or the exception to policy. <coughs> yeah, that's not how I read it, but that's that's his exact words. So. I had forwarded the email on to you. Yeah. And without it coming as a recommendation of the insurance committee, I think it makes it unlikely that we'd probably move forward on that. And we have to defer to Wellmark's decision on it. So, yeah, there's other ways in the process to try to get it, get that figured out. Uh, one of the one of the documents that I'd sent was an external review. They've would, there'll be an appeals process and we'll ask for an external review and see where it goes from there. So. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah. Thank you. Okay, we have a public health agreement, item number nine, with the hospital. Pretty much the same as it's been in past years. Mm -hmm. Move to approve. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve the public health agreement with the MHP. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, sign that pretty soon. We have a uh, Approve the health insurance rates for 2000 for this fiscal year coming up. I have them here somewhere. Medical, they will be the same as last year. Uh, single, 419 a month, family, 1022 dental, 30 family plan, 70 vision, 11 family, 22 and employee life, 220 So, um, we need a motion to approve these. Motion to approve. Support. And just to be clear, this is total premium, not this is includes what the county covers and what the employee covers, just so we don't yeah. publish it in the right. news as these are employee payments. So yeah. Oh. yeah, I support the motion. Okay. 
Motion made and seconded. Approve health insurance rates. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. We've got committee reports. Just a couple things from me. Uh, Dietrich Detman has resigned from Pathfinders to take a job at uh, Chamber of Commerce in Fairfield. Uh, she felt that uh, she was it was time for change. She's done a good job of leading that program, and we're in the process of finding a replacement. Uh, Crime Commission has two new, basically two new employees in the last three months. Matt Murphy was asked to resign, and uh, Carrie, I don't know her last name, was from, from Albia, is the new director, and we have an assistant director uh, who came from Van Buren County, had a lot of experience in jail and uh, background, that kind of thing. And so we have two ladies leading the Crime Commission now, and, and uh, so that's changed from what it was. but. Both very capable and qualified for what they're doing. So, that's new. I was under the impression that we would be approving changes to the Compensation Commission during this meeting. We can add it. Let's just add it to the next one. I had some people contact me, and I, we got a list halfway through the week, two weeks ago. So I thought that we would be unprepared to move forward on that, but okay. it's not on the agenda. I don't think there's a particular hurry on it, but we'll be sure to add it for next time. That'll work. Uh, Anything else? I had uh, Dave, Dave's oh, here. Would you want to give a report, Dave? Do I want to? Are you going to? Uh, morning. Morning. Well, we made it through another fiscal year. Um, I guess the first thing is our revenues were up higher than we projected, so that's a good thing. Most of that came from camping revenues. Um, since we opened that new side of the campground, especially since we put the restrooms in, um, in six years our camping receipts have gone up over 300%. So that's what drove most of the, the increase. Um, it's kind of funny, 4th of July weekend, it's the first holiday weekend I can remember that we haven't been full, but the Des Moines River's low. And when you have a river bottom campground, if the river's high and trash flowing down, people don't camp there, and if the river's low where you can't boat, people, I mean, and I can't complain, it's a, a busy weekend, but we weren't full, and it's just, you know, goes to show that it's so river water level dependent. Um, when we got the tractor last year, we had to cut all of our sign um, budget out of the budget. So that's what this year we're playing catch up, working on sign inventories, working with secondary roads, <coughs> and, um, our area signs along the roads, and then also our boundary signs. So we're working on that, and that'll be a late summer, fall, winter project, trying to get caught up on that. We have docks at White Oak and at um, Russell that aren't in the best condition, and we're, we pulled them all out of the water. We're trying to decide if we're going to completely replace them or if they can be repaired. Um, the new kind don't use the wood decking and everything. Um, they're more of a, a composite material. They seem to last a little bit longer, and so that's what we're looking at. We're trying to, trying to come up with prices, see what we can do. Um, the shooting range at Russell, the work's been going slow, but it is um, progressing. Um, we've got a trailer out there now from Schrago's, a lot of scrap metal. We're trying to get loaded, get that out of there. And then we're going to have Brackens come in and do a bunch of the dirt work to speed up what the volunteers are doing. We want to have that up and running and safe, you know, as soon as possible. And I think there's a lot of, we get calls probably at least once a week, people want to use the range. and. You know, I like to use it too. It's kind of frustrating for me as long as it's taken, but I think when the project's done, people are going to be happy and think it was worthwhile with the, especially the safety issue, the safety aspect of it. I think everything will, people will be happy. And then Lori just finished up all of her summer camps. We had pretty good um, usage again. We also, the one age of summer camp kids, there were so many we had to split it into two different weeks instead of one, so that was kind of good to see and 
everybody is happy. We've been working on the Youth Outdoor Field Day, which will be, I don't know, it's the 24th, 25th, last Saturday of September. And we're going to do it a little bit different this year, offer more activities. And instead of having the kids go around in specific groups with group leaders, it's just kind of going to be kind of a free-for-all. They can go out there with their parents and they can spend time on what they want to do um, versus being so regimented. We're getting a lot of kids that they have football or they have soccer or something. They have to miss part of the day. So if they're going to miss part of the day with their group, they don't show up, so we're going to try this. So if somebody can only show up, if they have to miss a couple hours in the morning or if they leave a little bit early, they still feel like they can be included. Don't know how it's going to work, but we thought we'd try something to change it up. Mm. And other than that, do you have any questions? It's just, it's summer. No, I don't. In the windstorm, we didn't get it damage in any of our parks or anything to speak of, so we were pretty lucky last week. Okay. Hey, thanks. Thank you, Dave. And one other comment. I had received a uh, complaint from one of the township trustees that had received a letter from the city uh, was talking about um, the payment that was due for their fire protection and uh, the letter, ordinarily, according to what the complaint was, there's a letter that comes um, requesting funds. And uh, the first notification that they had had ended up being a certified letter threatening that they were going to have to cease giving them fire coverage with the very first, you know, at the very first uh, notification from the city attorney. So I thought that that was a little bit overboard. I don't know what the normal protocol is for something like that, but it certainly doesn't spread goodwill uh, when the first contact asking for a payment is a threat to cease on the fire protection. That's from the city of Oskaloosa or New Sharon? It's from the city of Oskaloosa, I think. What township? I believe it was, uh, it was out west of town, out by the county fire. Okay. Yeah, they've, I think a lot of the township trustees have had issues with fire protection and over by New Sharon, they've had issues too, but they're kind of beholden to the city because unless they're going to go somewhere else. Anything else? Public comment? Move to adjourn. Second. Motion made and seconded to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Oh.